witchcraft. Not to do with. They were discovered by Mr. Parrish sporting in the woods. The children were far startled and took sick. Who told you this? Abigail Williams. Abigail? I. Abigail Williams told you I had not to do with witchcraft. She told me the day you came, sir. Why did you give this? I had not known until tonight the world had gone daft with this nonsense. Nonsense? Mister, I myself have examined Tituba, Sarah Good, and all the others. They have confessed to And why not? If they must hang for denying it. There are them that will swear to anything before they'll hang. Have you never thought of that? I have. I have indeed. <coughs> and you, mister, will you testify to this in court? I had not reckoned with going to court, but if I must, I will. Ah, you fault enough. I fault to nothing. But I do may wonder if my story will be credited in such a court. I do wonder on it. When a minister so city minded as you will suspicion a woman that has never lied. She cannot lie, and the world knows she cannot. I may falter somewhat, I am no fool. Let you be open with me, Mr. Proctor. I have heard something that deeply troubles me. For it is said that you do not even believe that there are witches in the world. Is that true? No, sir? not what I have said. I may have said it. I do wonder if they be witches in the world. Then you do not believe that. I have no witches. knowledge of it. The Bible speaks of witches, and I will not deny them. And you, woman. I, I cannot believe it. Elizabeth, you bewilder him. You cannot believe it? I cannot believe that the devil may own a woman's soul, Mr. Hale, when she keeps an upright way as I have. I am a good woman, I know it, and if you believe I may do only good work in the world and yet be secretly bound to Satan, then I must tell you, sir, I do not believe it. You surely do believe that you there are witches. You think that I am one, then I say there are none. You surely do not fly against the gospel. She believes the gospel. the gospel, every word. Question Abigail Williams for the gospel, not myself. She do not mean to doubt the gospel, sir. This is be a Christian house, a Christian house. God keep you both. Let the third child be quickly baptized and go without fail to prayer every Sunday. And keep a psalm quietly among you. I think that you're certain. Charles, what's the matter? I'm taking my wife and Rebecca nurse. Rebecca's in jail? Charles, she would come and take her to his wagon. Going now to the jail, they won't even last to see him. They've surely gone wild now, Mr. Hale. Over Hale, can you have to speak to the deputy governor? Surely, let's take these people. Calm yourself, Mr. Nurse. My wife is the very brilliant and moral of the church, Mr. Hale. Martha Corey cannot be able to get closer to God than Martha. Well, how exactly were your wife charged? For murder she's charged. For the marvelous and supernatural murder of dirty father's babies. What am I to do, Mr. Hale? Believe me, Mr. Nurse. If Rebecca Nurse be tainted, then nothing stops the whole green world from burning. Let you rest upon the court, the, the justice of the court. And surely will, she surely will go home. Can I miss you try the court, Mr. Surely you cannot think a woman may murder babies. Yeah, it is possible. Remember. It were until the last hour that Luce, before Lucifer fell that God thought him beautiful. You never said my wife were a witch, Mr. Hale. I only said she read books. Mr. Corey, what were the exact complaint made upon your wife? That bloody mongrel walk car charger, you see? He buy a pig of my wife four or five years ago, and the pig died shortly after. Now he come on, dancing in for his money back. So my mother, she says to him, Walk car, if you hadn't the wit to feed a pig properly, you'll not live to own many, she says. Now he claims in the court that from that day to this he cannot keep, keep the pigs alive for more than four weeks because my mom will be mixed up with her books! <laughs>